How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these one framers for your jug style or glitch style edits on Premiere Pro. The first effect is a flicker. So we've got X flicker which is horizontal and Y flicker which is vertical. At the moment these one framers don't look very good and that's because I don't have any transitions or shakes. For now we're going to focus on the one framers themselves. So let's make this one. Create a single frame adjustment layer and head over to effects and search for warp transform which is underneath sapphire distort drag that onto your adjustment layer and also add on blur directional underneath blur and sharpen add that on so it should be warp transform first and then blur directional after and what we're going to do first is make x so i'm just going to pull this first value to the right in fact i think 1920 is perfectly centered so i'm going to leave it at that i'm also going to minimize it just by clicking on the arrow and set the angle to, I think it was, was it zero? Yeah, so angle zero and amount, I'm going to just decrease it down to 50. 25 works as well. It depends on what you want. And oh, I forgot the reflection. That's what we need. So we just open up Warp Transform again, scroll down until you see you wrap X and change it to Tile, not Reflect because it doesn't look very good, at least in comparison to Tile. I think this works better, especially since it's a lower frame rate that we're working with. Speaking of frame rates, make sure that your time base is 15 frames per second, which is the sweet spot for jug style edits. So that's how you do a horizontal or X flicker. Now, if you wanted to do a Y, which is vertical, you just need to reset the shift X, Y. So I just clicked on the arrow and pull the second value down. I think if I change it to zero, that's also going to perfectly align it. So I'm just going to change the wrap Y to tile and minimize this change the angle to i think it was 90 and this is the result i don't know if you'll be able to see it but it does flicker towards the end and it does look better when you have other clips i don't but let's move on to the next one which is scan lines plus i think was it invert so first of all search for invert which is underneath channel or you can use sapphire invert it's up to you i'm just going to add the normal one and also scan lines which is underneath sapphire stylize add that on as well back into effect controls now just play around with these settings because there are so many possibilities i could just leave it as it is but what i'm going to be doing is increasing the line frequency to 75 and then sharpness to let's go 2.5 and i'm going to change the angle to 90 degrees so 9 zero so if you play it back it looks like this and i think it's a bit too strong and i think it's because of the invert so i am going to change the channel from rgb to something like red perhaps the result is softer on the eyes and yeah that looks pretty good very nice for a glitch style edit and also what you can do is change the blending mode so you could go for something like overlay and that gives you a different result which still works really well the only difference is that it's more subtle but you can still feel the impact. The next effect is posterize, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you on this sequence. So for this one, yeah, search up posterize, add it onto an adjustment layer, and you can play around with the level, which gives you different results. So for me, the value two gives this kind of look. Four looks like this, and if I go higher, it gives me different results, which is really awesome. And just like the other effects, you can play around with the blending mode. So let's go linear dodge, makes it look a little more overexposed, which looks pretty awesome. If I switch it to overlay, it kind of blends in the colors or the distortion. So what I'm going to do is actually turn it down to three and take a look at this. When I change it to difference, that looks very interesting. Even one or two, should I say, looks really cool. I feel like this could work really well for a transition. So going from something like 16 down to a lower value. So Hey, you know, that might give you an idea for any transitions you might want to make. So yeah, that's posterize. The next one is title scramble. This looks so much better when you have shakes. So I am going to add some shakes. Let me just push this one back. This is our previous example. So I'm just going to remove the effects and search for what was it called again? Title scramble underneath Sapphire stylize. Add that on. And what you want to do is change the tiles down to about one. Oh, and the blending mode. I forgot to reset that. So back to normal, which looks like this. I'm going to search for J underscore shake to bring down my shakes from my editing pack. Which one? Let's see. Let's go for, I don't know, maybe, you know what? Let me add an adjustment layer first. Let's try which one? Manual fast. Let's go for that one and play it back. Looks pretty solid. I'm actually going to pair it with some flicker effects. So let's go for normal and then reverse as well. Adding flicker onto your edits make them so much better. Look at that already it's looking great now i could finish this off because at the moment this looks really good maybe next time for now let's finish it off with the final effect which is 
TV distort, I think. Is it TV distort? I don't even know. Let's see. Yep. Uh, sorry. TV damage. I honestly don't know how I did this one because I know it had edge detect. So let me add that on first and then change it to mono edges. So this one down here, I'm just going to collapse that and then add on what was it tv damage underneath sapphire stylize add that on i think it's the same as the other effects play around see what works so i'm just going to increase the reception master 1.1 looks good but I, I don't know what to change let me check the actual settings of the one framer okay there's way too many static amplitude and static density seems like that's what i changed so when you reset it these are the values I change it to this so zero and uh, 0 0.01 okay let me try that zero and what was it zero no point zero one. I think there you go also I have no idea why I changed edge detect to mono when there is clearly some color I'm trying to replicate my own presets but I, I can't it's not really working that's the closest I can get to it so I'm just going to let's try let's try moving this to the end and playing it Okay, it could look better. Maybe if I duplicate it and leave a gap, then remove the edge detect, open up the TV damage and decrease the reception master to about 0.1. So that leaves the scan lines. And I think that's it. Let's see if that works. Press play. Okay, yeah, much better than before. I hope you found them useful. If you want to grab my editing pack, it's in the description below. Not only does it include one framers, it's got shakes and uh, what else did it have? Transitions and I can't remember, but it's on the screen. The best thing about it is that there are 50 presets in total. So check it out if you're interested. Members, thank you very much for your monthly support as always. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Peace.